Okay, welcome to this video. Here we're going to kind of go to Vegas and we're going to use a dice game uh, to learn about random number generators. So random numbers are a huge thing in computer programming and um, basically because computers only think in terms of numbers. So that's how you get any kind of chance of anything happening. So here's what we've got. You have linked to this uh, project from Canvas and you're here. You're going to see a big uh, remix button right there. I don't have it, but you do. So go ahead right now and click that remix button and we'll get started. Okay, so what you've got right now is you've got this little weird dude and you've got a dice. When you hit run, he says, click me to play the game. When you click him, he doesn't do anything. So uh, we're going to work on that. But let's do this. Make sure you're in the brain of the whatever that thing is. And you have this thing that says when it's when it's when the sprite is clicked, he just changes his costume, right? Now, you know that you could do uh, this say block, right? And say is just kind of gives you the word bubble. Doesn't let them type anything in, just gives them the word bubble. Um, and you could have him say hello every time he gets clicked. That's kind of lame. But here's here's what I want. I don't actually want him to say hello. I want to play a little bit with some math. So if you will go with me to where it says operators, your green thing. Now you could add, subtract, multiply, divide. Oh, you've got this equals to use, use this in your quiz game. Um, you've used join. Something that's new that we have not done is pick a random number. Now watch this. I'm going to put that right there. So it, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I want this to say it to, I want to put that here. So he says some random number for two seconds. And it's number between 1 and 10. So here we go. If I run this, when I click him, that time he got a 6. This time he got a 7. I'm going to click him again. That time he got an 8. So I could click him all day. Um, and he's just going to keep getting numbers. I don't know what those numbers are going to be, but I, I know exactly that they're going to be, be between 1 and 10. That time I maxed out at 10. Now, I can change this. I could say, give me a number between 1 and 2, right? That means you kind of have, a, that's almost like flipping a coin. You get a 50-50 shot of getting either a 1 or a 2. But that makes your game a lot more variable, a lot more random. Th weird things can happen uh, depending on chance, which is what you need if you're going to do, you know, flipping coins, rolling dice, drawing cards, anything like that. You would need some kind of um, randomness. So, but you could go as crazy as you want. You could say, give me a number between 1 and 100. And then you just get these random numbers the computer decides. So it's almost like the computer's rolling a dice inside the computer and, and making up some random number. Now, um, you don't have to start it at 1. You could start it at whatever. Uh, you get the picture. But that's pick random is a great tool, and it's pretty amazing. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Um, that is kind of the nuts and bolts of using a random number generator. And basically, um, you have kind of made the dice rolling game right there because um, you're going to be dealing with getting a random number. But here's what I would like to do. I would like to be able to remember um, what the what the dice rolled, what number you got. So if I want to remember anything, I'm going to make a variable. So go with me here. Pause me if you need to catch up. We're going to click on data. We're going to make a new variable and we're going to have this represent what your dice rolled. I'm going to call it num1. You, you call anything. I'm going to call it num1. That are automatically shows it there. Now, here's what I would like. I would like for you, when it's clicked, I want you to um, set that variable to something random that would represent a die roll. So think to yourself, um, what can you roll on a die, right? And so I want it to be random, and then I want you to sh to have him say it to me. So I'm going to sh show you real quick what that should look like. I'm going to let you try it. Okay, so I want you to write some code, and this is what I want you to come up with before you move to the next video. When you click him, I want him to say, now I use the join block to make it fancy and say, you rolled a 2. You rolled a 1. I click him again, that time I got a 3. That time I got a 4. Now notice, I could click him all day, I keep rolling the die. Now this die ain't changing. You notice that I'm storing the result up here, right? So you rolled a two. That one got stored and I'm showing it. So I'm report, I'm putting a number in this variable 
and I'm reporting that number here with a join block. So now what you have right now is a dice game. It's a really boring dice game because it doesn't, it's not visually rolling the dice, but you're storing. When I click him, he puts a number here. That number represents a die. So I'm not getting 100. I'm not getting 37. So think about how you would represent a die. Die, die is singular for dice, by the way. Um, but this is a basic dice game. Notice I'm only getting a certain range of numbers. I'm putting a number in the cup, the variable, and I'm reporting it. So when you get to this point and your little alien dude can do that for you, you're done with this video and you're ready to move on to the next video. I'll see you in the next video.